Hello. So welcome back to part two of my clamp storage video where today I'm going to figure out a place to store these clamps in a certain way somewhere over here. Trouble is, I'm on a bit of a time scale. I'm going to make a confession. I'm going to make it to you because I'm kind of keeping this from the wife. Let me show you. Hello and welcome to my van. This van's for moving around kayaks, sleeping in occasionally, and generally traveling around the country. What it's not for is picking up router tables. I told my wife I'd picked up a second hand router. She says, have you not already got enough hand tools? Didn't have the heart to tell her it's actual table. She's under the impression that garage should be for storing gardening equipment. So I've got to move quick, get this into the garage. Best get on. Oh, hello there. So in order to make a little bit of room so I can sneak this into the garage, I've got to get all my clamps out of the way because they're currently lying on the floor because I've got zero working room. So if you've watched my previous video, you'll know exactly what I'm doing here. All I'm doing is making a backboard to attach the rack to and I'm pre-drilling all of these boards into a short section of French cleat that I've hung on top of the wall French cleat. I do this with the first section and then I'll add a second cleat just to make it double strong. So once I've pre-drilled everything I then put a little spacer in between each one and make sure that there's a nice little shadow gap and I've got a board to attach stuff to. So once I'm happy with the width of the board and I think I've got enough room, final screws go in, I unhook it and it's that easy, hooks on, hooks off, as easy as that. Now you might have noticed there there's a bit of wobble to it but that will fix itself when I attach the rest of the uh, components to it. So I've got this small length of wood left over from the previous video and I'm going to use this as a kind of a spacer for the clamp rack so that the foot of the clamp I didn't research after last time, I'm going with foot, sits away from the wall so that the clamps aren't going to knock off easily. All I'm doing here is I'm using the angle to make sure that I'm getting some squares of timber. This isn't really important but I thought it'd be easier working with squares. Once I've marked out my cut lines I take that over to the chop saw and cut, chop, chop, I cut, chop, chop cut them. Anyway, I've got two cubes now, that's all you needed to know. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm a complete cheapskate. So yes, the backboard was built out of pallet wood and I'm also using this snapped piece of pallet wood um, that I'm gonna use for the actual clamp rack itself. I'm not taking any measurements here, I'm just marking it on that board to make sure it's not gonna hang off. Now if you wanna see a better looking clamp storage solution, watch part one, because this is quick and dirty and I'm showing you something that could be made in under an hour. So here my solution to the clamps coming off the side was just to cut two dowels. I'm gonna cut those, round over the edges, and then I'm gonna pre-drill some holes. This will all make sense when you see me assemble it all together, but it's really not rocket science. Now those are six mil dowels, so I've attached a six mil bit. And this is the face that the clamps are actually gonna hook over. They're a different style of clamp to the other set, so I'm going for a different style of holder, shelf, rack, one of those. So all I'm doing is just part drilling just into the boards here and these dowels are going to go into the end and that's going to stop the clamps moving from left to right. Obviously the way they hook onto the board will stop them falling off and this is just to stop them sliding from side to side. So once I've drilled those holes I'm going to squirt a tiny bit of glue in, put the dowels in and because it's providing no structural support I'm not even going to wait for the glue to dry. I'm going to just crack on with the rest of this project. So I know I said I wasn't taking any measurements with this project, but I'm just using the tape measure to make sure the gap from the left before the first block and the gap from the right before the second block would be the same. In my mind, you wouldn't be able to see those cubes that I'm about to glue on and they'd be completely hidden, which is kind of true. It does sort of work out. But again, watch part one if you want to see a better clamp storage system. I'm not a very good salesman, am I? So after marking out where those cubes are going to attach, all I'm doing is pre-drilling through the front of the board. Again, it's gonna be covered in clamps. I'm not fussed about exposed screws at all. 
So I'm going to drill through there and then I'm literally going to attach them with screws and glue. Now the glue would no doubt be enough to hold everything together but like I say I've got an hour. I haven't got time to wait for glue to set up. I need to clear at least a bit of room in my garage because I cannot even get through the door at the minute. I'm using that same trick as I showed you before to find the center of a square or a cube or a rectangle. So just going from corner to corner, lining the ruler up and then doing the other corner opposite to opposite. Wherever those lines cross in the middle is the center. Now the reason I want to find the center is because I want everything to be level and the easiest way for it all to be level is to try and make everything centered. And then as you expected, pre-drill, glue, Screw. <laughs> Told you it was simple. So here's a good view of the back side of the clamp storage. Things won't move and twizzle once the glue set, but I can't help being annoyed about that burn mark on my table. There's some things I've done so far for these YouTube videos that I massively regret. I haven't yet broached the subject with the wife that the filming of one of those logs falling and hitting the garage door, which actually wasn't planned, also did something else that wasn't planned. Smashed the glass pane that we had as spare for our window fitting. Maybe one day I'll tell her. She's in a good mood. I didn't even have the time to super glue and activate or everything, so I am literally trying to balance this with elbows and thumbs. But you're seeing the backside of this storage board at the minute. All I'm doing is pre-drilling in from the back, trying to keep everything from wobbling out of place, and then I'm going to put some screws in, but as you can see, I am doing a terrible job. If this thing ends up level when I flip this over, it will be a miracle. Should have just taken the time to super glue and activator it. Now because of my poor joinery, it hasn't taken anywhere near as much time as I thought it would to get my clamp racks done. So I've got these other longer clamps that I need to find a solution for. So I've made another module exactly the same as I've made the others that you've seen in part one and in my original French cleat video. And I've got to figure out some kind of high tech way to attach these big heavy clamps to this board. If you've watched my last video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm not saying I don't learn from my mistakes. Sometimes I pretend they didn't happen. Strong enough, right? You'll be pleased to know I'm editing this video two days after filming that and those clamp racks are still working. So here it is, the finished product. Like I say, I'm much happier with the clamp racks on the left, but I needed a quick and dirty solution and here it is. So those big heavy clamps hang happily on those nails on the bottom with my other clamps, the grippy pulley ones, going on the top and not sliding off thanks to those two dowels. If you've gotten anything out of this video today, please like and subscribe, even if it is purely watching how not to do something, how to be a complete failure when it comes to woodworking. Just entertain me please. Anyway, got to get on. Done. Dusted. In well under an hour. Don't get me wrong, this one, not as pretty as this one. These two are not as pretty as that one. But it does the job. Whether these nails will hold, I don't know. Might change those in the future. I might change this in the future. It works, it's functional, it's just not quite as pretty as that one. But in under an hour, I'm happy with what I've got done. Now, sun's just gone down, so there's only one thing left for me to do. Um, what are you doing? Nothing. Just go away. Hmm.